The seed bed has been prepared and we've got our seed. Our next step though is going to be to make sure that our drill is applying the correct rate. For this, we'll need a bucket or a can, a scale, and a channel lock pliers. All the calibration steps are outlined in the operator's manual. However, the calibration is needed because most plot seeds are a blend or a mix of seeds and it is nearly impossible to rely on the seed rate charts. This step takes only a few minutes and can keep you from making a mistake that could haunt you for the entire growing season. There are four basic steps needed to follow the drill calibration. They are first, uh, disconnect three hoses from the openers of the drill and put them into your bucket or your cans. Fill the drill box with seed in the feeder cups that have, been, have the disconnected hoses. Disengage the main seed box in the lockout hub. Set the drive type and the seed rate handle according to the operator's manual. If you're using a seed blend, uh, pick a, the seed chart that most closely resembles uh, your type of seed. Turn the seed rate handle crank the correct amount of revolutions. Weigh the seed to determine the actual seed rate. Repeat this process until you're at the desired seeding rate. When setting the seed depth, uh, read the seed bag as it should include the recommended seeding depth. Pull the drill ahead and inspect your coulter depth. The coulters are there to help the openers penetrate hard ground in no-till conditions. They should be set about a half inch deeper than the openers. Conventional planting, they are mostly unused and should be about the same depth as your openers. Pull ahead several feet and then dig for seed. Adjust your T-handles on the back until you are satisfied for your seeding depth. After you have correctly calibrated your drill and you've set your depth, you are ready to go plant your food plot. Hopefully this information will lead you to a successful plot and hunting season.